Hey guys, this is Rick at Elijah Tooley and I'm standing in front of a TR210 Trunnion and today we'd like to show you something that's pretty exciting and that's quick changing that thing. I know if you've had some experience with this it takes some time but we're going to show you that this can happen in a very fast uh, period of time and repeatedly. What's the key to that? Well, we've got these quick change plates. We modified the trunnion to accept them. The plates are ground precision plates. We also uh, made it so that we can accept the exerts retractable valve pin and the invertible fastener. So you can see these holes. They uh, correspond to a location on our modular fixture. We're going to show this to you and it's going to be great. So here we go, guys. Steven, go ahead and push that baby on here. Whoa, that is rocking cool. That big noise does not mean that the machine just came apart. That was our, our ramp that went back up. Now Steven is going to move the, the table into place so that he can reach everything. And then we're going to uh, bring the invertible fasteners up. We're gonna bring up the pins. Well, I guess we'll probably do the Zerts first. And, and then we'll bring up the fasteners. Now as great as having a modular fixture like this is, um, you do not have to have a modular fixture to do this. Ideally, however, you would use the uh, three retractable valve pins. As you can see, he's pulling it up into the plate. And then you would be using the invertible fastener. So you could have a, a dedicated type fixture plate, subplate, that is strictly for this purpose. Uh, in this case, we have a, a, a modular fixture that can be used for many other applications besides this. Now he's pulling up the fasteners. You can see the Zerts already came up. The fasteners are coming up. Wow, and then we just have the ones on the back and we're done. Is that cool or what? Everything is in. So for the skeptics out there, now they, you know, they're like, oh, big deal. So you put up some fasteners and you put up some uh, uh, retractable dial pins, but how does the plate indicate? Well, that's what we're going to do right now. And then what we'll do after this is we're going to load, unload it, and load it again, and do it check the repeatability on this process. By the way, I don't think I've mentioned the uh, modular fixture plate that is on the trunnion. 
we use it in a very similar way. You can see that there are fasteners in it. Our zip machines are in it. And uh, you can see some of the holes are plugged. Some of them are open, but some of them have the retractable dowel pins in them as well. trunnion onto the fixture in a pretty fast um, motion have a, a, uh, attached it to the machine and located it and now we indicated the plate within a half thou. So our next step is going to be to do this all in reverse and do it again so that we can uh, prove the repeatability of this process. Closer this time than last time, Stephen. Am I right? No. No? It's the same. That's the same. All right. So, same result. So, same, the same result. It loaded in a half. Spots. Right? Yep. That is awesome. Well, thank you, Stephen. That is awesome. Thank you very much. Now, we're going to do one last thing here, and that is we're going to release the plate. Uh, from the the retractable dial pins and the invertible fasteners and we're gonna have Steven try to simulate what most operators go through to to set up a trunnion like this so we're not going to remove the quick change plates because that's just a pain in the rear but we are going to not use them so that we can see what it takes in kind of real life and to keep in mind also is that uh, when you are uh, 
loading it on with desserts and, and, and doing everything else in the fasteners, you actually can spin in on the center of this and it will repeat. So you would always end up with the same number, give or take a few thousandths, of course. I mean, any machinist knows that a few thousandths is a lot. Awesome. But when you actually get into it, doing it, it's gonna, it's gonna change quite a bit when you're doing it uh, manually, when you don't have this uh, option. I knew I forgot something. Well, I am not going to remove this from the table. I'm going to leave it on the table, right. but I'm just going to move it out of the way. Right, just move a little bit. You can't put it just on the edge like this. You actually have to move it down because your clamping is on the sides. Okay. So we got to push it further down. Okay. All right. He's gonna move it towards the end there because he's got to push it further into the uh, into the table. Now remember, we have no reference by which to um, locate this trunnion. And so we're going to have to uh, do it in a manual fashion. the bus and go to work the way I did before the same routine most every day except I guess I see my folks much more years past, I the fun part Machinists out this out there, this is all too common. It takes too long. Back and forth, back and forth, slowly. We get close to what we need it to be. It's really bad when Friday comes because I know the weekend lies away. The football games and when it rained out I've done so much to change the house, the attics full of memories I've known And yet when I turn out
Not bad. So, equivalent, right? Equivalent. But we'll, we'll, we'll find out what kind of time is involved, but significantly harder and longer. That's here. I don't know whether, uh, you know, you want to comment, but it seems like we would rather spend our time making parts than doing this setup. That's just me, I guess. Well, you want to make money, the only way to do it is to have a machine cutting, not just a, That's right. Man. Cutting's better. Yeah. And you also have to keep in mind your X and Y is completely different every time you load it in this way versus the other way where it will repeat. Excellent. Thank you, Stephen. Yeah.